Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the week of April the 2nd through to the 8th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, I would like to wish you all a happy Easter Keister weekend. I hope you have a wonderful weekend full of good eats, wonderful people surrounding you, and that is my wish for Virgos for the weekend, for all of you, for everybody. For those of you who celebrate Easter, of course. So first up, we have Major Arcana, the Hangman, in the upright position, followed then by Major Arcana, the Chariot, reversed. And next we have Major Arcana, Death, in the reverse position, followed then by the Eight of Swords, upright. And lastly, we have the Seven of Wands in the reverse position. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and interpret this read for you, Virgo. Hmm, interesting, you've got three major arcana. Could be a little bit of an intense week for you, Virgo. So let's see what's going on here. First of all, for your overall energy, you have that of the hangman in the upright position. The hangman upright, this is kind of hanging there in suspense. Sometimes it's just the card simply of waiting. Maybe for some of you, you are waiting for something. It's going to be different for all of you. Remember, it's just a general read. Perhaps some of you are waiting, um, you know, for a job change. You're waiting to move. You're waiting to um, get involved in a relationship. You're waiting to get out of a relationship. There is definitely an energy here of waiting for something. Uh, sometimes the hangman energy is simply about sort of... Um, we have to wait. We're put in this holding pattern for a reason because maybe we need to look at a situation or a subject from a different perspective. So for some of you, there's a bit of a stalemate going on. And I can certainly see by the, these next few cards, there is something up with Virgos. Well, some of you Virgos anyway. Um, you have Major Arcana, the Chariot in the reverse position. The Chariot upright, this is all about forward movement. When it's inverted like this, there is a lack of forward movement towards something, uh, Virgo. It's, uh, it could be because maybe you're, you have to wait. Maybe there's something that you need to or want to move towards on, because the Chariot can also represent travel and, and moving and movement and so forth. Maybe some of you want to move or move on and you can't because there's some stagnant energy here. Something is putting you in the, the a stalemate with the hangman energy. Uh, the <clears throat> chariot in reverse nonetheless is lack of forward movement. And it's paired with uh, Major Arcana, the death card in reverse, which is also uh, lack of movement, lack of transformation. Um, when it's in the upright position, this is all about transforming an area of our life. When it's inverted like this, this is there's a need for transformation, but it's not happening. Um, there's a need for forward movement. There's a need for transformation, but it looks like something is stuck in your life, Virgo. At the beginning of the week, it seems like it's pretty intense to... Um, it, it's it's, it's going to be different for all of you. Maybe this is a relationship for some of you. For others of you, it could be a work situation or family friends, whatever, it could be just about anything, a project, a home, but something is stuck here and it's not moving forward and it's really frustrating you because the next card you have up is the um, Eight of Swords in the upright position. This is a card about feeling restricted and bound and not being able to move one way or another. So two things I can think of right off the hop here is maybe you guys are feeling bound and restricted because you're trying to move something forward and it's uh, for some reason red tape whatever you're you're not able to move it forward and it's very frustrating for you for others of you maybe you're just a little bit hesitant you're you don't want to move something forward just yet maybe you feel the timing's not right uh, for others of you, sometimes the Eight of Swords can represent people around us who, because the Swords are communication as well as thoughts. So it could be that maybe people around you are sort of scaring you or telling you that if you, you know, do this or you do the, that or make this change, that, um, you know, the, something 
bad could happen to you, that kind of thing. And, and there are just maybe too many thoughts listening to people around you sort of going on and on with their opinions and it's making you feel restricted. Or some of you, it could simply just be your own ruminating thoughts that are keeping you feeling trapped in a situation. Or maybe you're feeling trapped because you're trying to get movement happening and it's just not, things are just stuck for some reason. Now, the last card you have going towards the weekend of the six and seven is um, the seven of wands in the reverse position. Seven of wands upright. This is all about feeling defensive, feeling on, on guard. Basically, uh, it's a protection card. Sometimes this can represent um, protecting, feeling like we need to protect ourselves, protect another person, uh, protect a situation when it's inverted like this we're coming out of that energy so it could be that maybe towards the weekend you guys um feel um that you don't have to have your guard up so much anymore maybe things change towards that weekend maybe at the last minutes or the 11th hour things start to move and shift in another in another way for you guys this is an interesting read virgo hmm. you're gonna have to leave me uh comment in the comment section below to, if this resonated for you and let me know how this is playing out for you it's interesting because it looks like there's a specific situation that's got you a little bit stressed Virgo and the forward movement is just not happening there's like a lot of stagnant energy here now this could be due to mercury retrograde sort of bringing a halt to things or it could be due to a certain person is stonewalling you or maybe you yourself your own fears don't want to allow you to move forward because you're you're too worried about what could happen um i hope this reading helped you virgo if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise i will see you next week bye for now